We've been making tools pretty much since we became Homo sapiens. Making is at the core of what we are as a species. And this project is about enabling that. How do we make something that will push our technology and encapsulate what it's good at and what it can be good at? What our team is really focused on is how we can make things with robots that are things that we couldn't make in other ways. And having the machines be essentially these super tools. John and I both had a lot of experience in digital fabrication, but we didn't want to be constrained so much to the print bed or the, the CNC boundaries. And the robot is a perfect universal tool. Traditionally, these industrial robot arms are used in automotive factory lines and they're always bolted down. Since these robots are typically stationary, they're only able to work on the area that the robot's able to reach. But all we have to do is unbolt the robot. And all of a sudden, we've turned the problem on its head. A mobile robot opens up a ton of opportunities in fabrication. The Sundial project is about building a beautiful public object that is a proof of concept and a use case for this tool we're building, a mobile fabrication system. We wanted to make the Sundial more graphic so the shadows aren't just lines on the ground, they're type. It's almost 3,000 unique holes that are drilled into the object to display the text. This type of object could really only be made with parametric design tools. Parametric design allows us to simulate where the sun would be, and through an algorithm, we actually figure out the pole pattern for that exact location on the planet. The longitude and latitude is tied to the sun angles, so the sundial wouldn't work in another location. Using these particular parametric design and robotic fabrication techniques, we're able to create an object that does a very particular thing at a particular site at a particular time. What we are doing is really the next wave of what robots are capable of. Where it gets really interesting for us is the potential for digital fabrication on site. Computer controlled fabrication techniques that needed to operate in a CNC mill or in a 3D printer can now be taken out into the world and we can make those kinds of designs on a much larger scale. This is all rooted in making new things. Things like the sundial are exercises that allow us to think about what those potentials are and develop new technology. What we're focused on is how do we make things? How do robots and how does digital fabrication change the process of making? And that's really the goal of this sundial, is to make people think what is possible.